Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Gemini, we are looking into this week of January 17th to the 23rd. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. Gemini, if you are interested in winning a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe and comment your name in the comment section down below. Please check the community page every Monday for a new winner announced. So Gemini, we are going to get you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. Here we go, Gemini. Your number is 30. I am imaginative. Some of you could have been born on the 30th. It does not have to be. It's just the energy. This card says you are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. Uh-huh, that's Gemini. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas, and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. All right, Gemini, I think that's right up your alley with Gemini energy there. Definitely coming in, sitting in your power, really innovative in your thinking, in the way you communicate. You are feeling a very intellectual, and a lot of people see that, and a lot of people feel that. And a lot of people may also be feeling that effect from you. Um, I did say this to somebody, Leo. Um, I do get the same vibe where you may feel like, why are people talking to me so much more out of nowhere? Um, it may just be because you're just alluring because of your talent is being shown. You being highly imaginative could be very um, just magnetic towards people. So let's see what Metatron has here for you, Geminis, for this week. And we have a chakra light body. Yes, you are in the zone. You are in alignment here. Beautiful. Card 38. Let's get you another card. Capricorn also got the chakra card. If you have Capricorn energy in your chart. Let's see what else Metatron has here for you. What's this light body energy all about? And you have the Metatron Rainbow Bridge, always open, card 27, interesting, very interesting. Okay, so a lot of you are definitely highly in tune with spirit, highly in tune with, um, a lot of energy around you. You are coming in really nicely here, Gemini. And Spirit, Metatron specifically, is letting you know that their rainbow bridge of positivity, of uplifting, of happiness is available for you right now. It is always open, but it looks like the the path is a little bit clearer to you. Ooh, the rainbow bridge, Gemini. We got to see what the tarot's got for you now. Because you are truly in alignment right now. You could be manifesting miracles. Definitely choose your words wisely here. With how much power you're holding right now. In terms of what you're focusing on. Focus on that positive. Especially with that rainbow bridge. So let's see what um, the tarot has here for you. For Gemini. All right, we have here the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I knew something was coming. We have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so some of you Geminis, you are definitely, definitely, definitely connecting to somebody here um, romantically. If that's not the case, then some of you Geminis may be feeling like you're ready to finally open up your heart again. Um, others of you, you may be finding this renewed sense of love within yourself that actually gives you this confidence to open up to the people around you. It may not be romance. You may just be a lot more open to your friends, your family, whatever the case may be. I definitely feel like you're a lot more confident in 
what you say, how you say it, what you have to offer, what you bring to the table. And maybe before you weren't in that energy, but now you're coming into that energy and you're really imagining your best life, honestly. So let's see what we got going on and let's clarify this. Some of you definitely could be new love, renewed love, or a sense of self-love. Spirit, um, some of you Geminis also, there may be somebody interested in you at work. Please clarify this for Gemini or possibly your person or somebody who is interested in you is interested in right now as well as to level up financially. It could be a good indication of who this is. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Woo. Wow. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever this is, they they will put in the work. They're putting in the work for themselves. And man, they're a multitasker because some of you, they're leveling up themselves financially and they also want to level up this connection, this friendship, whatever the case may be. Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups. Yeah, so for some of you Geminis, you're definitely feeling this very large sense of confidence to open up to being more open-hearted to the people around you. It may not be romance right away. You may get into that afterwards, but I do feel like for some of you Geminis, maybe it's romance right away, or maybe you just become a little bit more open to the people around you. I definitely do feel like there is a very high possibility that either there is somebody interested in you at work or whoever is really interested in you here, they're also leveling up their career status somehow or in the process of doing that. Some of you, you could be dealing with somebody in you're in a relationship with, they are very focused on their work, their career, that may bring a little bit of neglect from the connection, but it looks like there's a renewal to the connection here. So you may be pretty surprised with the expression or the love that your person is giving you this week because they do have such tunnel vision focus on money and it may have been causing you to feel very neglected or seven of cups very uncertain about where you stand with them and your person may be a little bit more or a lot bit more emotional towards you now and it makes you feel a lot more secure on where you stand with them spirit please clarify this again for gemini on the Ace of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. On the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands. And on the Seven of Cups, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, so for some of you Gemini's singles, you're definitely deciding to open up to love. You're giving it a chance. You're seeing what's out there. You definitely may um, absolutely open up and then get an option right away or options come down as you are continuously opening up your heart. Love is definitely available for you if you want it. Two of Swords, some of you just don't. Possibly you're the tunnel, vi tunnel vision focused career person and that's vice versa. But definitely love available for you. This person looks at you as like you're it for them. Could be vice versa, of course. Um, especially my Geminis who are in connections, this person is like, yeah, no, I love you. You're my person. You're it for me. You're my forever. I want you to be my forever. Others of you definitely meeting new love for sure. This absolutely could be your forever person if you're open to it. I don't necessarily see too much openness, at least for my single Geminis, or at least you're in the process of opening up. And others of you definitely a renewed sense of love in a connection where there has been a little bit of, I don't want to say it's been a full on neglect because I feel like some of you Geminis, you're actually dealing with somebody who's like extreme multitasker. They give you love, they work on themselves and they are putting effort into this connection too and doing their priorities as well. Others of you Geminis, you may be in that position or some of you you were dealing with an energy who was very focused on one thing at a time. And this person is like looking up now and they're like, all right, let me focus more on Gemini. Let me keep this love connection going. Let me express some love to Gemini. But there's definitely love available for you. And I felt this for you for a, a lot of readings. And the double ace of cups here is definitely showing that 
to the Ten of Cups, this definitely could be the one. Either they really think so, you really think so. It could be mutual as well. Um, but if you don't have options in love, you're about to have options. And if you are in a relationship, it looks like there is a beautiful renewal of emotion to this connection where there may have been a lot of emotional disconnect. So, Gemini, we are now going to get your romantic love oracles, even though this was really about love. Some of you, this could be finding self-love within, but it looks like it's giving you a confidence boost to share the love with another person or see if you want to do that. So let's see what we got going on in your oracle spirit. This is for Gemini for this week. All right, so we have here purge. We have devotion. There it is. And we have compromise. Yeah, somebody definitely wanting to give give you a lot of their time and energy or give you a lot of their time and energy now. Spirit, please clarify this for Gemini again. We have purge with solitude. Some of you single, no more. Devotion with abandoned. Some of you, this person, somebody, I, I do feel that where there's kind of like, or there was this moment of neglect or this feeling alone. Some of you have been single. That's just what it is. Others of you, you just, there was this little bit of something with this person. And it may have even drawn in such huge fear, you know, like you or them, whoever may have this little focus on work. Because I do feel like not everybody's the multitasking energy. Um... It may have made you feel or made them feel like, all right, this isn't going to go anywhere or this is not going to work out. Like this is that and the other. When in reality, compromise is here. There is energy available for this to work out. Compromise with big dreams. Yeah, but somebody is finding it difficult to see that or they did find it difficult to see that because the other person wasn't giving as much or showing as much or there just wasn't any available options. So let's clarify this again for Gemini. On solitude, we have tribe, so your spiritual support system here. On abandoned, we have vibrations, yep, realizing that's not happening. The person still wanting to give you their time and energy or vice versa. Big dreams with separation. Yes, yeah, somebody was expecting the connection to not work out. Or some of you Geminis were expecting to be single forever or whatever the case may be, but this was high expectations of a separation that actually isn't happening, or high expectations of being single forever. And I say high expectations because that's what big dreams is, or expectations, or assuming you'll be single forever. You're going to be pretty surprised. So that's what I have here for you, Gemini. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.